Hello everyone, I'm Pacific Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'd like to talk about whether or not actually beating the Fighters Guild is worth it and whether or not the rewards you get from it are any good. Now the Fighters Guild, in my opinion, is the longest quest line of all the guilds. The Mages Guild is kind of there, but the Fighters Guild just feels longer because it seems to have more scripted events, more like, yeah, follow me, do this, set this up. I mean, you have all these quests involving Blackwood Company where you have to sit there and, like, do the thing, let the guy talk, you know? So I feel like for the Fighters Guild, there's probably the most dialogue in any of the four guilds, even the arena. Like, the arena is faster than the Fighters Guild. So, already, it has that time element, which it kind of bothers me. If it's your first time playing with the Fighters Guild, it's actually quite interesting and it builds a great story like the story of the fighters guild yeah i don't remember all the names of the people and stuff but i know the story of the fighters guild the best which is basically you join the fighters guild and you deal with blackwood company and you get the leader's son killed and the second in command gets kicked out but you still help him out and he gets reinstated so there's not really any notable items i remember getting off the fighters guild i just remember getting a bunch of gold which can be useful if you need gold. Like, it's a good beginning of the game thing, but if you don't get it in the beginning of the game, the Fighter's Guild already in the reward sense isn't that useful. I mean, I guess it's kind of cool to get Nern Roots and the Blackwood Company armor, but I just, I am not a fan of the loot you get in this kind of guild. Now, what you can do is after you beat the guild, you set up this chest, right? So your headquarters is in Coral. And the chest is you set, you talk to second in command, and you set the people to either focus on getting gold, enchanted items, or both. This is not really that good of an ability in my opinion. So first is gold. There's a point in the game where gold really doesn't matter, and there's no real point to just having a bunch of gold, right? Like, I mean, at this point, if you have the Fighter's Guild, right, you don't have any chests you can store things in. But if you buy a house, I mean, you can buy the manor in Anvil for like 5,000. So after, basically, after you buy a house that you really like and furnish it, gold is kind of useless other than, I guess, speeding up your skills. But even then, making a bunch of potions just gets you as much gold as the chest usually does. And then the enchanted items, you can't control the enchantments. And I mean, you can control enchantments better with sigil stones than the chest. So there's really no reason to use the enchanted items either because if they're garbage, you're just gonna sell them. So it's a, like a bunch of passive income, really. That's what the Fighter's Guild is, passive income. If you need extra gold, you can go get it. But when it comes to the actual rewards of beating the Fighter's Guild, for how much time you put into it, you really don't get a good reward. You just get a bunch of gold. You get access to the smiths, which is, I guess, nice. I mean, I usually just, when I need stuff repaired and I can't repair it, I go to the market district. I mean, it's not like the Mages Guild where you get spell making, spell crafting. That's the same thing. Enchanting. You know, you just get a bunch of gold. And it's, I don't know. I don't... I'm not really a fan of it. And the, the guild, after you've played it one or two times, the actual Fighters Guild quests are so boring to do because, you know, you're excited because you get to fight all the guys, you know, you get to fight Blackwood Company enemies, and it's fun to fight enemies, you know. But, with that being said, you, you're you still going through all these cutscenes. You're still, you know, hunting the lion for the rat lady and following the guy into the woods to go hunt the lions. You know, you're still have to do all that over and over and over again. I mean, there's a notable quest, a really, really cool one. And that is the, um, what is it called? The one where you go kill all the goblins, or the people that you think are goblins, but they're not. That quest is really cool. That is one of the most unique quests in the game. Um, it's not one of my favorites, because there's really not a lot you do, but... You take a drug, it teleports you, and you go kill these people in a village because it makes you think that they're all goblins. And notably, one little note thing is 
the all the recruits and initiates you don't actually see them ever again so you, you know you kind of wonder what happened to them but that's it for this video guys really in the very very end the fighters guild quest line the story of it's amazing it's it's just about two combat based companies the fighters guild and blackwood company vying for business opportunities and in the end the blackwood company is corrupted and but after experiencing the story of it all it's really not that fun it's not worth it to go through it again and again and again so that's honestly what i got to talk about for the fighters guild i hope you enjoyed i mean fighters guild was the most boring quest line even i think the main quest is even better because of the cool places you get to go but anyways i'm pacific the casual gamer i suck just as bad as you do at video games subscribe for more Oblivion videos, I will see you guys in the next episode, stream vlog, or steam it post of whatever I decide to make.